YouTubers. Um, I guess the purpose of this video is just to clear up some rumors and some other stuff that I hear from, I don't know, about everyone. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, oh, and also, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, um, but we're gonna, yeah. They deserve uh, yeah, we're gonna do like a little movement like video here as well, so a bit of everything. Um, it's mainly just audio, not really any gameplay. But yeah, alright, we'll get started then. Uh, so basically, okay, we just had like a lot of like <laughs> for skills gaming. We've expanded to Black Ops, and like I'm looking to expand to a lot of other games, but it's hard to find those players. If um, you know, if you don't play the game. So basically, I'm looking for anyone that has an interest in competitive gaming. We are a community, so you don't have to play competitive to join. So basically, just be a casual gamer. It's, it's fine. We have a competitive side to most multiplayer online games. From about any Call of Duty, Guild Wars. Uh, I actually do like Clash Royale, Command and Conquers, things like that. Just consoles, you know. It's nice to get a lot of people involved and we are recruiting. Now, if you do want to join the competitive team, there will be, you know, you can be good in the Did you see how many shots are going to? You have to be pretty damn good to join it, so. And yeah, about these rumors, um. Uh, where do I get started? Alright. Basically, as you all know, Gears of War 3 is a dead game. It's not gonna go anywhere in the next fucking god knows how many years. It's not gonna go anywhere. The new remastered version that came out, Gao Yui, people are already leaving that and going back to Gears 3 or they're just finding another game completely. Just because people find it boring, there's not enough goals in the game for people to reach. Things like that, it's just basically Gears of War 1 all over again, with a little tweaks and dedicated servers. People are looking for a new game, not an older game. If they wanted an older game, they will buy the first one and go ahead and play it. So I don't know where Gears of War is going to go, even with Gears of War 4, Judgment. Um, well where can I go start with that? It's human versus human. Sorry, but uh, from the play, you know, eight years or so more, playing the game, I do actually know that people like to play against Locust, things like that. And, I don't know, but Judgment's just a terrible game. You've got your rectangle on screen, which is something that's never, ever been in a Gears of War before. Uh, I, I find it a bit more... And you, oh yeah, and you can jump off like buildings and stuff like that and drop down on people. Kind of like uh, on Black Ops 1 where you have firing range to map, you just jump down on people, just, you know, just things like that. Uh, it's not Gears of War, it's, it's not. Gears of War is like, I like to see it as like a classic, uh, Gears of War 1 did win the Game of the Year award, things like that, really good game. And uh, it's basically... Uh, yeah, it's dying right now. The community is like probably more already, more or less already cut in half, if not more. People, I don't know, uh, like the skill for the level of the game as well has gone down. For instance, like people are making new teams on Gears of War 3, but you know they're not all that good, but that you know they're getting there. And um, th I just want people to realize that you're never really going to be the best, the best that you can possibly be, just because that all the high caliber teams have left the game so they're on the new one or they're finding a new game where there's a lot more competition than high caliber teams like Call of Duty for instance so if you are a Gears of War player they and know you, they cannot you, then you win. know exactly what I'm talking about if you're not you know go ahead and buy the game it's good there's some good stuff to it campaign is amazing things like that but uh, these rumors, I don't know, a lot of famous people on the game, you know, you got Team Essence, you have Mercy players like I got Shadows, people like that. I don't know, people just talk mad, mad. So basically, it started out for me on Gears 1, uh, Gears 2, I got into competitive. I um, was in the second best team in Europe, I threw Game of Night and Havoc. Quake, I threw Demon, I threw Game and I. No Basically, that was that was the team. Quake, Shadows, me, oh. Demon, which was Havoc. So yeah, and then you had like everyone knows the guy, Moo Moo Milk. His team was like 100 No and GB. They were I don't know. He was the best host player on the game. That's all I know. 
that's where it started for me and uh, and yeah and people kind of forget about all that they 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 forget about all the old players and you know so when the new players start on gears 3 they don't know nothing about the other games or the players so you get all these mad rumors you know uh, people you know you probably already know if you play gears of war that you already know me and uh, you know not many people like me or whatever but i can honestly tell you it's just a bunch of shit um, you talk mad rumors, he's bad, he's bad, she's bad, I know him, yet you've never seen him or talked to him before, I don't know, I, I hear all these rumors about me, yet when I'm in a party with those people, <laughs> it all goes quiet and it turns to whispers, you know, nobody says a thing, but when I'm out of the party, everyone loves to talk, I just find it so funny, and you know, I'm just going to clean it up and just, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that there. But if you haven't heard it from me, then it doesn't it doesn't exist. It does it just doesn't. And um Yeah, let's get on to the YouTubers now. Um yeah, I have a company, it's called Bullet Entertainment. We sponsor Team Essence and Moomoo Moo Milk. And we are looking to sponsor a lot of YouTubers, whether you're a team or you know, you're single YouTubers, we, we you know we're handing out sponsors. Um Judged by the performance of your channel. Now, if you're a small YouTuber, don't be phased by that. Just go ahead and come talk to me, and you know I'll I'll run you through the process and how it all works and things like that. Um, we have YouTubers ranging from you know as as, as high as 1.3 million subscribers on the network compared to you know some others where they have like 5,000 or like Roomwook for instance with 100,000 plus things like that. They range from small to incredible um, you know. In, in incredible youtubers really so yeah but the main purpose of the video is a recruitment video now if you do play Gears of War you know and you are from the UK more or less you are gonna know who I am so yeah we're recruiting now we're trying to get competitive teams Call of Duty and Gears of War 3 we are looking to go to the new Gears of War 4 and the new Call of Duty we're looking to go to LAN events for the competitive people so if anyone's interested in that come let me know um, as of all, the, the current as your average player and stuff, if you want to try and get better at the game, we do. Uh, we are actually starting to train people up now, and you know things like that on the channel as well. You can see some scrims and some game battles matches that we've done. You know, we're not. But bear in mind, we, we do play a Mexican host a lot. It is game battles. Everyone already knows how it goes. But yeah, we we do train and recruit people. So don't worry if you're not so good. You know, we are open. We're pretty much good beasting it out. No um, I don't think there's anything else I want to say. Um, yeah, actually there is. Um, the Gears of War. Now I am moving to Call of Duty, and I've passed the Gears of War division over to Remedy. Now, um, and say a little bit about you know the changeover things like that. Hey, my name is Elm Remedy. Um, I'm actually new to skills and new to the whole Gears of War sort of department area, and. To be honest, I didn't actually ever think skills was the sort of team it actually is. I thought it was, as hearing from other people, as Tom said earlier, Fr Princess, he said the team got some hate or stuff like that. Um, he, wasn't, he wasn't a good player and stuff like that. But it was all from people who just didn't like him at all. So, what I yeah. did... Oh, sorry, I was... Um, no, go on, go ahead. Go ahead, no, it's yeah, fine. I, no, I, I thought I, you stopped there. It's okay. No, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, what I did is I joined, I joined Skills, not knowing it was, knew, not knowing it what, what it was, what it was, and to be honest, I, I got straight in there, got trained by Tom, and started really enjoying it, to be honest. It's like, not really, it's not really the usual thing, because you get, like, the usual dickheads in a lot of these teams. He's just one of those rare people who... Uh, I don't know what, I don't exactly what it Basically, is. who actually takes anyone and will train them up and spend time with yeah. them things like that. Yeah. I, I am fairly new and he's actually made me into... Actually, a, a, a kind of more than decent player. Especially the things he's shown me. Especially all the years of experience. We'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, I mean, I'm definitely sticking. I'm definitely sticking. Right stick Can we get a clip? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Hope Kong is on team H now. Yeah, but honestly, I'm definitely more than staying because like all the community and stuff. Yeah, um, basically, yeah. where he's coming from with these people that trash talk and things like that. Uh, I mean, fr from my reputation, everyone knows me for the 1v1 mercies. Um, I play different against every person I play. That's just because I look at what they're doing currently in the game when I'm playing against them, and I just react on their movements, so I never have a set game plan. Everything is different, so if, for instance, if I play a bad player, I'm going to play bad, but I'm still going to win if I play a good player. Then I'll step up the game and I'll play even better. That's that's kind of where I play, and uh, that's how it's never going to change. It, it it makes it like it's it's basically it's really spontaneous, like the things that I do and where I play. But on the side note, um, I mean, like I said, I got a lot of hate. They don't hate the clan; they hate me. Um, and I, I'll tell you why right now. It's because you know, I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually not even going. I'm just going to say it. I'm one of the best players on this game, um, not the best, take that note, just one of the best players for the UK side. Um, on Gears War 3, yes, I had a scrim team, it was really good, but we never put time into going to the LAN events and things like that, so we never really actually trained like like really hardcore, like some of you know Team Apex and that, that one LAN like four times or more or whatever. No, we never really took the game that seriously because we like to have fun as well. Um, but as it comes to those players inside, you know, the Mercies, a lot of you know about Jack. I'll just tell you a little story about this guy, shall I? <laughs> I hope he sees this video too. I had a guy, Rusted Car, a good friend of mine, and uh, another guy called Run the Game Rex, who was both spectating the game on neutral host. And basically, I was winning the guy 6 2, and he paid the guy like Microsoft points to end the game and kick everyone out because he blamed it was lagging. Yeah. Rustic Debt, they're both from, you, Rustic calls from Ireland, and it's got like a 100% <coughs> like connection, and yeah, Jack just didn't want everyone to see him lose, so he paid him points, and the next thing I know is on, Bla Mo uh, sorry, Modern Warfare 3, and do you know what, he actually hated me that much, that he never talked to me again for two whole years, that is the kind of guy he is, and referring back to earlier, you always get dickheads on the team, yeah, he's one of them. Um, so cocky as well, like really bad, like you have no idea. Uh, I don't know why people like him, I don't, but I have no idea. Anyway, so, you know, and like Bot Kings, I don't know who they are as well, Bot Kings. I'm just going to say this, um, there's a, a live streamer called Jackal Gaming. Who, me and Jackal, who was on his live stream, played with him and two other guys. And basically we forewarned them on like Clock Tower and we were just screaming against them back to back. And I can honestly say, man, uh, when I clutched the one before, like, uh, on Hotel, not Hotel, I mean Clock Tower, sorry. Um, yeah, I was left in a 1v with Jack, I killed him, and he raced me in the game like a little baby, and that was it. His team had to get find a pickup. It's the kind of guy he is. Uh, it just doesn't have fun at all. He doesn't know what the word fun means. He just knows competitive, win, let's go. And when he doesn't, he cries like a baby. Because he's so used to winning. He just forgot about what fun is anymore. And that's why I never really took my team that far. Because everyone loves to have fun. It's not all about grinding out the game like you do in SA for school. But other than that, uh, I'm going to let Remedy continue. So sorry? Uh, no, I'm going to let you continue what you were saying uh, about the community and everything. And yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. The community is based off all new players. It's, they're based off every, every single person in this division so far has been off new players. It's basically just training them and then getting them to their full potential. Um, so yeah. he targeted smaller teams who were disbanding because uh, the people in the teams as dickheads. Um, and as we basically earlier. took all the players. So what we do is yeah. these, these these teams that don't get very good, it creates a lot of disputes, as you know, as a clan or a team itself, they get a lot of disputes. So what I do is I offer them a way out. I'm like, come and join, train you up. Like I said, everyone knows me, so they know who I am. So when they get an offer like that, they just find it hard to refuse it. So we take all these players, whether they're bad, shit, or whatever you want to call them, we train them up and we make them good. Uh, sometimes it's a long process, sometimes it's not It's not a long process. Because these teams, these really good teams out there, like you've got Team Essence, their montage team, you know, 
um, they always look for you know really good players or the people that that like amateurs or they're just starting up but they're really good players but they don't do YouTube right so we get people into YouTube we get them making videos we train them up you know they hit clips we can't help you make clips you, you have to get that on your own but you can get that by getting trained up and being good at the game so we take yeah we that's what we do we get the new players it's, it's called I think it's, it's something a little called like giving back into the game a little bit instead of just scouting out the good players and leaving all the bad ones so we can just basically rape them and get clips on them uh, I don't think that's quite fun that's all and those youtubers see a lot of them they're actually kind of fake uh, and the point being is there's a lot of them I can expose but I'm not going to because it's just not right um, they basically delete one of their map packs and they go off host uh, they go off the map packs if you play gears you know what that's all about basically they're the worst of the worst like this game was free on the dashboard so you got a whole new players on there never played the game before how easy do you think it is for a well experienced youtube player to actually go and hit those clips that's what a lot of them do and you know some of them are staged some of them are not i'm not saying no names but that's it um the only you know the one guy i've known for seven years is moon milk now he doesn't stage anything a lot of the times he's playing on ranked on mex on u.s service the guy's from the Netherlands, he's European. You imagine what he goes through when he's getting his own clips. A lot of his friends are from the United States and places like that. It's really hard in those clips. And, uh, the, and the quality as well has to be really hard. Uh, because you're uh, constantly lagging all the time. But uh, anyway, another one as well. We do have wall bounce in the class. Everyone loves wall bounce. You see all the videos, that's why people like team action. The wall bounce and the clutch and all this stuff. So, if you go ahead and look at some of the videos, Bill's uh, Pinta, Sierra, she, uh, she would actually have to train you up so you can wall bounce. So we have other wall bouncers as well, but, but you know, she is a really good wall bouncer, and I'm just going to let her say a, a few words. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that, uh... I like wall bouncing. I mean... You know, as far as coming on a game and just recording, just wall bouncing, I don't know because it's a lot of work when it comes to editing wall bounces. I like the wall bounce. I do because it does give you, you know, like a lot of views and stuff. People love it, but you know, editing is just, oh gosh something serious yeah and that's you know that's another reason why we'd like to train people up is because we want to get more people doing this yeah because i need help the doing that is, you know it's already dying and so we're trying to help her actually make a difference here see if people really just don't care about it no more or if we can make what communities laugh a lot better and bigger so then people might like the game a little more and stay maybe invite the friends or something but you know, we can teach you how to angle bounce, alternate bounce, default bouncing with phones. There's, there's a ton of variations and a lot of variables. I mean, you can just, I don't know, man, there's a lot of ways, different ways to ball bounce. Like, uh, angle bouncing, you know, camera bouncing. Camera's the easiest one. Angle bouncing's not that difficult either. Uh, and single bouncing, a little more efforts involved, but other than that, it is pretty much straightforward. Um, you know, I don't personally wall bounce myself. I know how I can do just about every every kind of bounce in the game. I did. Uh, I, well, I was a wall bouncer at one point, but I stopped, slowed my game down. Oh, Superman! Did you see that? Sorry, I'm on a gears game as well. I got absolutely. I caved. It. All right. So I mean, that's it. Probably gonna end the video here. Um. But yeah. Um. I'll put everything in the comment in the description below. And uh, I guess. Yeah, I guess thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope help. And, uh, I guess thank you very much. Alright, goodbye. Yeah. Well, actually, you know. I got a very good goodbye. It's not very a goodbye, but it's goodbye for this video. And stay tuned because we are going to be posting our next Walking Dead Season 1 episode. I think it's 2 that we're on now. So stay tuned. Already posted. No, that's part of it.
Yeah. Oh, that's part. Two yeah. Of the no, that was the whole oh, yeah. uh, first see. episode. We haven't did the episode two yet. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna be posting a lot of videos and things like that. A lot, a lot of videos. And uh, yeah. So basically, the new season one, episode two, the, the game is called Walking Dead.